Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Not So Garden. We are getting started here in the first generation of a brand new legacy challenge that I have concocted in my world. So right here we have Delilah Hydrangea. She goes by she and her. She is going to be the aunt to eventually one of my heirs, if not two heirs, which happen to be twins. So taking a deeper look, she has the perfectly pristine aspiration with the gesture personality arch type. She's neat. She's cheerful and outgoing. She likes cooking. I dressed her in uh, yellows, whites, beiges, very neutral colors to match her nieces and accompany her nieces. I used the Lumia Height Slider mod. I'm not sure if I said the name correctly, so that's why she looks very funky on my screen. I used, obviously, some face paint to make her eyes really pop. She's got these gorgeous green eyes. I wanted to go for Asian in descent because her family line originates from Mount Korembe. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. I'm sorry. Don't hate on me. So, anyways, I think she's really cute. And I also wanted to take a moment and peep at her different outfits so that was her daily here's her formal and then her athletic obviously we have her in sleepwear and then we're gonna have her party wear and we're gonna have her summer wear well her swimwear not really summer wear i guess or hot weather outfit and then it'll be the hot weather outfit and then of course her cold weather um i just wanted to keep her very fun cheerful and appearance wise because she's a young adult and she's supposed to be the fun and cool aunt that everybody wants to have as a friend so and i wanted to dress her with a very similar coat style as what her nieces are gonna have as well i just hope that they're all gonna complement each other so, the twins are Daisy and Lexi Garden. So, moving on, we're going to look at Daisy first. She goes by she and her. She has the inner peace aspiration with the every man personality archetype. She's lactose intolerant and clumsy. I went in just to make stuff easier and filled out her likes and her dislikes to go ahead and match along to the challenge I have written. So if you just want to read those, just take a moment and go ahead and pause that. So here's her winter outfit, her hot weather wear, her swim wear, her party attire, her sleep wear, her active wear, then her formal wear, and then finally I have her everyday outfit. For her, I wanted to keep her very just casual and relaxed because she does have the inner peace aspiration, so I want her to be very peaceful. She's the embodiment of white, so a lot of whites with different little pops of colors there. I carried over some gorgeous brown eyes and hair, and she's a little bit darker than what obviously her aunt is because she got her father's skin complexion per se, but she's just a little bit lighter than his. So obviously at this point, she's losing some of the black in her hair for a brown Moving on to Lexi, I wanted to embody that they're twins, so I wanted to keep them very similar in appearance, but Lexi's more preppy, fashionista, more focused. So, here is her 
winter outfit and then she's got the nerd brain aspiration the every man personality archetype which is so fitting since they're twins she's a loner and she's erratic again this is requirements for the way i wrote the challenge and then we've got her likes and her dislikes again i filled them out if you want to check it out go ahead and pause and then Taking a deeper look at the outfits, as you can see, both her and her sister have very similar coats. Here's her hot weather outfit, then her swimwear, and then her party, sleepwear, active, formal, and then her everyday outfit. And as I said, I wanted to go more preppy, more put together, more fashionista like with her because I don't know. To me, every Lexi I know is just always put together and they always look very nice and they dress very nice. And she is the embodiment of yellow. So, very exciting. She's got slightly different version of brown eyes. Her eyebrows are a little bit different. Same freckle pattern, more shine on her nose. Her hair is a little bit darker, but still carries over the nice brown that I decided to go with. So now the air for my generation can be either Lexi here or obviously Daisy, so. Just a little quick recap. So our dandelion generation, which is symbolized by yellow, they have to have the erratic, ambitious, and loner traits with the nerd brain aspiration, their career as a teenager, they have to reach level A in high school and be a fast food employee. And then we have Daisy, who is represented by white, the aspirations in her piece, their traits are going to be lactose intolerant, clumsy, and family oriented. And they have to be a lifeguard for their teen. So, obviously, I have Delilah, who's their aunt. And I'm not going to lie, I kind of feel bad for Delilah. Nobody told her that she was going to have to suddenly become the parent to her teenage nieces. And always at such a fun age being teenagers. And this happened because unfortunately her sister and brother-in-law were in a horrible accident when they went on a mount climbing ex a mountain climbing expedition over a mount Mount Komorebi. So that's definitely going to be something that she'll definitely have to adjust to. And she also has to combat the fact that the twins never really were close with their parents. They were only really super duper close with each other. So I'm not sure. Can she break through the ice that's concealing the twins' hearts? And could moving to Windenburg be the change of scenery that these twins need to be able to function and be happy? I really... I just, I don't know, and I'm really hoping to have a fun story that's going to evolve, and I hope you all are super excited, just like me, to see what happens in the adventures that we're getting ready to experience with Daisy and Lexi and even Delilah, so... For a bit more info, there's going to be two sets of rules that we have to follow for this generation. One set for Daisy and then one set for Dandelion. Now, Daisy-wise, if you don't choose her to be the heir, you don't really have to finish her rules. Except, no matter what, she's going to have to move to Henford on Bagley, regardless on if she ends up being my heir or not. So we'll have to keep that in mind, but some of the skills I'm going to have to master for both of them will be fitness and painting and handiness. So I hope you all are ready to explore and I 
hope you all enjoyed the little deep dive into some of the outfits I did here. And I really hope that the characters' personalities really speak to you. Also, check out Delilah's tattoo. Absolutely love this little bit of CC.